Hi everybody, it is April and I'm in my craft room and today we're going to make a quilt in a day. Before we get started, I do have to tell you that I did not finish this quilt in one day. The only thing I didn't finish was putting the binding on. So that is my disclaimer. But if you were to take this pattern and use it, you would be able to finish your quilt in a day. A full day, but a day. On the first Saturday in May in Louisville, Kentucky, it is always Derby Day. Well, except for last year, but last year, we're not even gonna think about last year. Today, to celebrate Derby, instead of partying, I'm going to make a Derby quilt. Of course, this Derby quilt has to have a horse theme. And it just so happens that one of my very, 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 very favorite fabric companies Three Wishes created this gorgeous panel. And the collection is called Sunflower Stampede. Now Three Wishes has free patterns on their site and I pulled the pattern that they suggested for Sunflower Stampede. But it doesn't use all of the all of the pictures in the panel and I want all the pictures so I am going to take another three wishes pattern and modify it to fit my needs so let me show you what I plan on doing before I show you what I plan on doing with the pattern I'm going to show you the fabrics that I'm going to be using now, not all of the fabrics I'm going to be using are from the Sunflower Stampede collection. I got the fabrics from that collection that I could from my local quilt store, but I needed more. And the prints are what go along with the collection. I also wanted some solids. And when I say solids, I'm not big on just plain solids you know me i like the paint splatter looking solids that don't all just have the same color but we'll get to that and i have laid out multiple fabrics and i'm kind of auditioning them on my table i believe i want to use this wood grain now parts of the collection are of course the sunflowers because this is sunflower stampede and the clouds and the horses and that's it for my collection part of the collection that went with this was a wood grain fabric my store did not have the wood grain from three wishes but they did have other wood grains for me to look at and i chose this one and then i just needed some coordinating fabric because i think all those prints might be overwhelming to the eye so i wanted to work in some solids and I've got this lime green which goes beautifully with my panel I've got this yellow that is you know dark yellow light yellow it's just a plethora of yellows that also goes quite well now let's go through the pattern the quilt I am starting out with is from three wishes fabric and it's finishing at 41 and a half by 55 I use this as an example to start with. So they've taken the coordinating fabric along with the pieces from the panel of the sassy animals and then put a strip in between the rows that they've created. So this is what I started with. Okay, for those of you who like Oliver, there's Oliver. He's joining us here. 
I've got numbered the different pictures or pieces of my quilt. So I made this one, two, three, four, and then measured from side to side so that I knew how large these were. I wanted to use all, all eight, but it did not work out. Here is my final quilt layout. I still have to total up and figure out how many inches I will need of my coordinating fabrics. I will need to cut 22 and a half inches of the clouds, two and a half inches of the wood grain, and then I've got my panel piece, which I will cut at 13 and a half inches. I'll cut two and a half inches of the wood grain and 22 and a half inches of the clouds. I've got one picture from my panel here. On the next row, I have two. On the next row, I have one. On the next row, I have the two. And then on the final row, I'll have the one. I wanted to do a print and then a solid, a print, a solid, and then a print. So the horses will go here. And there we go. In addition, I'm going to have a strip of the, the more colorful wood grain between each of the rows. So I think it'll be a fairly easy quilt to put together, you know, since I wanna get it done in a day. And that's my plan. Let's get going. I'm gonna do it by picture because on this one, I want to make sure that I don't cut off any sunflowers. So I'll go closer to this side than that side. So I think we're going to have to go with each one's gonna be 11 and a half. I have all of my panel pieces cut. I've had to modify a couple calculations on my pattern. No problem, I kind of expected that. It is a panel after all. So now I can just look at my list. I know I need the clouds, yellow sunflower green, and horses, and wood grain. So let's do it in the order I have it written down. And we're off. I've placed my pieces on my design wall in the order that they go. And now I'm just going to sew them all together. My quilt top is done, but wait, there's more. I'm going to make a quilt sandwich and I'm going to quilt this quilt today. Keep watching. I'm not going to have a choice but to iron it. I'm 
going to use 505 on this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it back and focus on getting this area basted. All right. Now I'm going to take this and slowly push it into place. I don't want any wrinkles in it. And there should be plenty of time to smooth out any wrinkles. Okay, that's not quite the middle. Let's roll it one or two more times. Now, I'm trying to finish this quilt in a day which does not afford me super hard complicated quilting patterns I saw a double loop meander and I like a meander I'm comfortable with a meander so a meander it will be I'm starting kind of in the middle, not really in the middle, but a little in the middle so that I can work my way out and smooth things out as I go. So I'm going to roll up this part that I'm not quilting. This part back here is all rolled up and I think I'm going to start in the middle of this square. First thing I need to do, I've got a fresh needle, I've threaded it, I've done the bobbin. Let's hope my bobbin works. Sometimes I struggle with that. And actually I think I'm going to start in a seam. I've got a little light, a little laser light that tells me exactly where my needle is going to land. Now let's see if I did a decent job on my bobbin. Looks like I did. This thread I've never used before. So we'll have to see how it goes. So I want to do All right, so now I've got a little knot. I am going to turn on BSR2, which is Bernina Stitch Regulated 2. So when I stop, the needle stops. And that's to be taken a little loosely. It doesn't keep going like it would on BSR1, but if you make any movement at all, it will continue going. Okay, double loopy meander. I'm going to make them big because I want to get this done and I also don't want really dense quilting on this. Here we go. As you 
can see, I do have on something different. It is the next day. It is the day after Derby. I finished everything except for my binding. And I decided I was gonna break out my AccuQuilt Go to cut my two and a half inch strips. So let's cut those strips, get that binding on, and my quilt will be done. I've laid my fabric along the strips. You can see there are, looks like cutting lines right here. I put the fold first, just like it told me to. Um, I probably don't want it up quite that high. I want to make sure that this gets cut, so I'll put it a little bit below where I see cut lines. And then I need to scooch this side over a little so that I have a little overlap on the outside of the cutting blades. And I should be able to put my mat on and feed it through. Perfectly cut two and a half inch strips. Okay, so I have three, I need seven. So I'm going to cut another eight inch strip. My quilt in a day is done. And it's really done. It's not just my quilt top. I have put together a quilt top. I put together a quilt sandwich. I quilted it and it's bound. All done in a day. Well, not quite a day for me. If you want to get this quilt done in a day, don't go to the store and certainly don't get new thread or use thread that you haven't used in your machine for free motion quilting before. It can cause problems. Trust me. Ask me how I know. Full disclosure, it took me part of one day. In, on the Saturday, I finished everything except for the binding. I had it ready to bind. So day two was cutting my binding and putting the binding on. I'm really pleased with it. I'll show you some pictures of it when I am through talking to you. I think that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you use the pattern. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends. Have a great day eat some chocolate, and be kind to everyone. Until next time, bye. Oh, and if you're still here, Peanut actually ran across my panel as I was taking a picture of it in the foyer, so that will be in the bloopers. And Oliver, of course, made his appearance several times, also in the bloopers. Thanks again, bye.
Seriously. Okay, this one just got a bath, and she wanted to show you how she looks on Derby Day. Good Tito Brady. I'm going to be like Joy Bernhardt, and I need to take a sip. Mm. Got to hear the slurping, didn't you? So those of you who like Oliver, Oliver made a little guest appearance. I have done all of my calculations. I can't really see you. <laughs> Excuse me, my dogs and the cat.